My son is very active. <laughs> I love him with all my heart. I was pregnant with him at 15, but I had him when I turned 16. I didn't know what to do at that point. I had nobody to turn to, but it made me stronger. This program motivated me to go to college and to be successful and to be a better mother. When someone walks in our door, we look for the strength that shines through that individual. Even throughout the pain, there are strengths that they have, and what we try to do is build on those strengths. The WIC program is a very good program. They have a lot of needs that they're fulfilling to the community, and a lot of people are dependent, not only for themselves, but for their infants. I have this basic belief that every parent wants to have a healthy baby and wants to be a good parent. But unfortunately, everyone doesn't have the resources or might have not had that experience. And so the WIC program is kind of the beginning. WIC is really a nutrition education program. WIC is a wonderful idea, it's a wonderful concept, but you have to be able to reach your individual community. The major need for this community is basically to educate people that no matter what walks of life they're from, they are entitled to resources such as medical care, especially their children, and just to let them know that there is help out there and programs that cater and can help them live a better life. Case management is integral to providing WIC services for us. And case management means that we also want to know about you and your life and your world and what we can do to help you become better. Well, I think what differentiates us from the other WIC programs is that we have built in a lot of enhancements. We're always concerned about telling the folks that we work with that you need to change your diet and you need to go eat fresh fruits and vegetables. And they're like, well, where am I going to get that? Fresh Moves was created to address the food deserts in the communities, particularly the community that, that Sinai sits on. Our co-founders approached CTA about the idea of a mobile market, and they supported us and sold us the bus for a dollar. So we're able to bring the produce to institutions like Sinai. The older generation isn't passing on the skills necessary for young people to cook. So I think it's important if you want to have someone move ahead in terms of their health, you really have to start from square one. Sinai Community Institute has been an incredible partner. They have a chef here who comes on our bus and purchases whatever we have available to then use in a demonstration, a cooking demonstration, which is really amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you start by taking a plum or aroma tomato and you hollow it out pretty much to where you get a nice little cup. And you just take everything together, stuff it inside the tomato, bake it in the oven, pull them out, drizzle them with your sauce, serve it. Okay then. We're just starting and working my way around. Our clients are really eager to learn about different techniques or healthy snacks or things like that and really take the information and use it to their advantage for, their, for themselves as well as their children. Four years ago, this was a dream. Uh, it's good to have a dream, but it's very exhilarating once that dream comes to pass. I think the impact is that you have a healthy child who's growing up to be a healthy adolescent who becomes a productive adult. That their dream about kind of what their life was gonna look like, that it becomes a reality. And we had a hand in that.